Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com, and today I have a special video. It's for my friend Simon over at Inclips. He is a 13 year old guy, paper crafter, blogger, and YouTuber. And when I was in New York in September with some of my design team and Michelle from Casual Fridays, we were chatting with Simon and he showed a little bit of interest in something that I had going on. So Michelle and I issued him a challenge to choose some of Casual Friday's goodness, make a card that would knock my socks off. So he posted it a week or so ago and I don't know, what do you think? Do you think it knocked my socks off? So yeah, I guess it did. Simon, I loved your video. It was adorable, really great card. And I'm gonna make a video for you today using some of the same supplies you used in your video. So I'm gonna use the same stamp set and I'm gonna use brush out also. So let's get started. Now I have the 24 pack of brush out and I have them in little pots like this. And at the end, I'll link to a video I did showing the colors and telling a little bit more about brush out. I'm looking at this and I'm feeling like I wanna use yellow ochre. And um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> So I'm gonna shake out the brush -o. Whoa, that is a lot of powder. And then my favorite way to use these is, is sprinkle it out first and then spray. I want more color than this, so I'm gonna add more in there and just let it kind of do what it wants to do before I move on. Well, since the brush out is made up of different powders mixed together to make different colors, then when you sprinkle it out like this, you get different colors and it's just so cool and so fun. Some of this is maybe needing a little bit more water. Now, some of the spots like this, I want a little bit more color kind of spreading around and not so concentrated in one spot. So I'll just spray a little bit more. And then I think I'll use a heat tool to get this to dry a little faster. Now I probably should have kept this on camera, but there was a big kind of spot of powder right here that wasn't getting blended and I could have left it like it was, but I wanted the color to spread out a little bit more. So I just took a water brush and I just added some more water on top, just like I'm doing here. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. So you can play with it to get the look you're going for and then just let it dry and then we'll be ready for die cutting. I'm using the Acorn set of dies from Casual Fridays, just like Simon did. And I'm gonna separate some of these. I like to try to keep my dies together when I can. I only separate them from each other when I have to. So, cause then I'm always worried like, you know, on little dies if I'm gonna lose them. So the more I can keep them attached, the better. And this, I'm gonna just uh, cut out a few of them and then I'll play. And I'm not really sure which pieces I'm gonna use yet. So I'll just cut out extras so I have a bunch to play with. I'll just move it down and cut out some more and who knows maybe I'll make more than one card with this. I have all these fabulous die cut leaves and it's these little guys that I want to play with. I want these to be gold so there's a few different ways that I could achieve that. Well, let's try out two and see how it goes. I have a gold wink of Stella pen so I'm just gonna paint this gold right on top of here. It's a very dark gold which i um, kind of thinking might be nice. I could also take these and smush them on top of a Versamark pad and then uh, gold emboss them. I don't think I'm going to do that today though. I'm going to try the Perfect Pearls Mist and I could just spray it. But let me see what happens if I just kind of paint this on. So I don't want to make a big spraying mess. <laughs> so I'll just try this. I'm kind of digging this. I really, really love the gold sparkle from this. Woo! It is so sparkly. I'm really digging this, but I want it to be darker. So I'm wondering how I can make it darker. Hmm. It might help if I have a clean sheet of copy paper here for you. You might be able to see better. This is uh, drying up a little bit, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then what if I add some brown brush -o? That is very, very cool. I am really loving this. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. All right, let me do another one. I'm gonna try it the opposite way though. I'm gonna put the brush on there first. 
And then I'm going to add on the sparkle. I think I'm going to grab a paintbrush. See what happens here. Thanks for being along on my experiment, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am totally loving this. That is beautiful. I wonder if you guys can see as well on camera what that is really looking like in real life. Um, this one looks really cool because it's got that spotted kind of brush -o look that isn't too messed with, but I am preferring this one right here. So now that these leaves are dry and I have the little um, leafy, uh, spiny, what are these things called that I'm going to put on top of here, I'm feeling like some of these are a little light. So I'm kind of going back to the drawing board a little bit and I'm adding some more color to them. A little bit of red. And I think that's it. Let me just do a little red. Just add a little bit of water and just darken these up just a tad. They're a little too light. Maybe a little bit of orange. I want these colors to be a little more spread out on the leaves, so I'm just gonna use a paintbrush to move some of the color around. This one needs some more water. So you can just play and experiment just like I do. It's super fun and then you know, just see what you come up with. I really like this one right here. Let's do a little more red on this. All right, we'll let these dry. So I'm continuing to play and I thought I'd let you guys in on what I'm doing. I decided to go ahead and spray down some of the Perfect Pearls and then I just added some brush show on top and now I'm just dipping more little die cuts into my little pile here or my puddle and then I'm gonna let them dry. So they're coming out pretty awesome. I might have enough leaves here for quite a few cards. I'm getting carried away. <laughs> That's what happens when we have fun. Um, these are just some random leaves. I'll dip those and see what happens to those also. And then we'll move on. So now I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on this main layer piece that I'm getting ready for the front of the card. I'm using my Misty, and this is the new one, the laser etched. And the difference between that is this isn't going to rub off, so it doesn't need that plastic cover on top. Except I think there might be something different about the hinges. I'm not really sure. Sorry, I'm not brushed up on that. But I'm using the Curtis background, and this was in the first stamp of approval box. Um, it's not available right now on the market. It will be shortly. And in January, our next stamp of approval box is coming out. So if you're not on the wait list for that yet, be sure you head over to cpstampofapproval.com to learn more about the program and to get on the wait list. Okay, so I just wanted a partial stamped image from this Curtis background. And then I'm gonna try, this is a glitter, I actually haven't used it yet. It's Halloween embossing glitter and it looks like it's orange and black or orange and orange and dark brown. Oh, it's so glittery. So I'm just using my heat tool and watching, kind of just tilting it sideways in the light because when you do that, you can see the shine of the pieces that are actually embossed. So just keep moving a little bit at a time. Move your heat tool slowly over the whole thing as you watch the powder turn to a shiny sparkly finish all right so I did some things without you I tend to do that lately <laughs> I after I did this I wasn't crazy about it um it kind of broke off a little bit weirdly mm, this is cool and I might use it for something else so then I thought about doing a whole um, piece but then the white wasn't working for me so then I did it on this is chocolate chip by Stampin' Up and I think that looks pretty cool and I thought a little bit of pumpkin pie with pumpkin pie stamping on top would be awesome I made this bigger than I need it because I want to be able to line up so I'm trying to line up the images so that it looks like you know they're seamed together I'm gonna cut this down here so that it has a teensy sliver of pumpkin pie on that side. And then I want it just under four and a quarter on this side. And then when I put it on my card base, there would be just a small border there. So now my leaves are all dry and ready to go. So I'm just gonna add some liquid glue on the back of these 
little, what are these things called? Veins? <laughs> All right, if my glue would come out. Okay, so dot, dot, not a lot. And then we'll just put these in the center of each leaf. And then I'm gonna have a plethora of leaves to choose from. So next I'm die cutting the same tag that Simon used in his video. These are all by Casual Fridays. And we'll take this Blessings die and I'm gonna cut it through the front of the tag again, just like Simon did. Now to finish off the tag, I used a triple, triple twine. So I just used three, three strings of it. And then I have a couple little flecks on here that I didn't mean to have. So let's just go with that and do a little bit of gold on the background, just splash it a little bit on there. So it'll kind of distract from it and make it look like I meant to do that. So let's grab three leaves or two, ah, I don't know, two or three. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I need two. Um, I'm pumped right now, y'all. What if I did a third like that? Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of liquid glue and I'll adhere these on here. I'm just gonna do glue right up at the top so that I can kind of curl the edges up. And do you guys see what I see? <laughs> I forgot to stamp my other greeting. All right, so I was gonna stamp and I'm gonna make it look like this. these leaves are hanging from the top of the tag, from the from the linen thread. Okay, so <laughs> I was gonna stamp um, Autumn Blessings right up there, and I forgot, so I could leave it as is, or this is a little chance for improv. I want to do this a little crookedy right down at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, it's so cute. And I could do a little peekaboo one right down there. You guys know how I do little peekaboo sequins? How about a peekaboo leaf? And then I love how you can see the background through the blessings. Now here's a peek at the set that I'm getting the greeting from. It coordinates with this die set. And so I just stamped Thanksgiving and we'll just add it right up there and no one will ever know that that was an accident. I kind of like it. So hope you guys enjoyed my inspiration off of Simon's card and you guys are excited like I am to see what he does with the January stamp of approval collection. We will be announcing more information about that coming soon. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you again soon.